the state of Telangana has truly blossomed into a desirable investment destination for the manufacturing of electric vehicles. So naturally, I ask the question, what have been the contributing factors? And to help shed more light and elaborate on the on-ground scenario, may I please invite to the dais the Principal Secretary of the Department of Industries, Commerce and IT for the Government of Telangana. Please join me in welcoming Sri Jayesh Ranjan. Huge round of applause, please. Good afternoon, industry leaders, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'm very grateful to the organizers for giving opportunities to states also to present their perspectives, to share their perspectives in a forum like this. Typically, seminars and conferences that are organized in Delhi are heavily Government of India focused. So this is a very refreshing change that uh, you have given this 10-minute uh, slot to us as well to tell us what we want to, uh, <clears throat> what, what we want to strive for, what is our aspiration really to support this great uh, EV movement which is happening in the country. Uh, as all of you would be aware, Niti Aayog is drafting the national policy and uh, hopefully in a couple of months, the outline of that policy will be out. A couple of states have already announced their policies like Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, and a few other states have shared their intention of coming out with their policies. In fact, uh, we are also in the same trajectory. In Telangana, we have completed a very extensive round of consultations, and I'm sure many of you who are there in this hall would have also been, uh, your inputs would have also been sought by the team that is uh, putting together the EV policy for our state. And uh, hopefully in a month's time, we'll be able to come up with something which is extremely comprehensive, which will be considered a national role model for the future. Because I'm sure many of you would be aware that our industrial policy, under, which, under whose overarching umbrella all these sectoral policies are coming out, is already considered to be extremely path-breaking, extremely forward-looking. And uh, many of you would also be aware that because of these policies, and most importantly, it's implementation on the ground. It is a policy which works, that Telangana today is rated as the number one state on uh, ease of doing business. So uh, <clears throat> very quickly, I would like to share the contours of the EV policy that we are bringing out. Now, the EV policy, as I said, is quite comprehensive. It addresses adequately all the demand side issues. Because we know that many of you are uh, OEMs, you are manufacturers, you are into shared mobility space, you are into R&D, and uh, for you to really put uh, your money where your mouth is, you require someone to really stir a very huge demand uh, for EVs. And in Telangana, we are going to do precisely that, largely through uh, public transportation and also giving uh, proper incentives and encouragement to the shared mobility players. In fact, uh, two of the biggest uh, uh, shared mobility aggregators, rather, are, are really very, very bullish about Telangana. They have started uh, rolling out their implementation plan at a, at a reasonably large scale to start with in Hyderabad city, and hopefully that will spread to other uh, cities and towns of the state as well. Similarly, for public transport also, as you know, uh, <clears throat> the Road Transport Corporation is completely a state entity. And uh, in the recent uh, DHI uh, challenge program, Hyderabad has also been introduced to try out uh, some number of buses. And other modes of public transport also are getting facilitated to commence uh, EV-based operations. Mr. Kirloskar uh, spoke about uh, the issue of uh, charging infrastructure. The policy that we are going to release uh, very shortly will have a very, very uh, uh, innovative and uh, very practical answers about charging infrastructure. We will be not only taking the lead on behalf of the government, on behalf of our civic bodies like the municipal corporations, etc., to put in position the first batch of charging infrastructures, but we will also be incentivizing private parties who want to set up uh, charging in infrastructure by giving lots of benefits in terms of uh, cost of electricity, the power tariff that is, the, the locational, uh, uh, the support in uh, acquiring uh, locations for setting up that charging infrastructure and so on and so forth. So uh, <clears throat> the demand side, I'm very, very sure 
will continue to rise, and uh, you will find uh, lots of opportunities of responding to that growing demand by coming up with your supply. Now, on the supply side also, uh, as most of the leading OEMs are there in the room, Telangana definitely will provide a very attractive uh, industrial climate to locate your manufacturing units there. We have already become the go-to destination for a number of uh, sectors. Many of you would be aware that in, uh, let us say, information technology, in life sciences, pharmaceutical, biotechnology, defense and aerospace, textiles, food processing. In fact, some of the most marquee names of the world today are present in uh, Telangana today, in Hyderabad today. And we are pretty sure that given the approach that we have followed to woo these sectors and uh, to, be some, to woo some of these marquee names, much uh, over uh, our other uh, competing states and even other competing countries, we'll be very successful in replicating the same approach for the EVs world also. So uh, our industrial policy has a number of uh, very, very unique features. For instance, we are the only state today which uh, follows a system of uh, self-certification based automat autom automatic uh, approval process to enable you to commence your civil works. When you need to build your factory, you don't need to wait even for one day or you need to wait even for a single piece of paper to commence that construction. You can just give us a self-certificate that you will abide by the laws of the land and you can just start your construction. And when you are ready with your uh, commercial production, just at that point in time, you need to get all statutory approvals, et cetera, which by law is mandated to be delivered in 15 days in Telangana. And if you don't do that in 15 days' time, this is something which will really uh, stun you. Uh, bureaucrats who are the cause of delays are penalized, actually. In, in fact, on four occasions, we, and we have a rate of uh, penalty also. The rate is that for the number of days that delay has been caused, let us say someone delayed a proposal uh, and approval by four days. So four days of his salary will be deducted and given to the par party which has been agreed. And uh, <clears throat> you may think that it is, uh, it is, just, a, it is just a fiction. It, it is just to sound good or look good. We have actually applied this on four occasions. So four times we have penalized people because they delayed the approval process and that day's salary. But obviously, you know, a day's salary means nothing, but more of it is an issue of accountability, of symbolic value. But while I mention that we have uh, penalized people on four occasions, let me also mention that on 3,565 occasions, we have succeeded in giving 100% clearances within that 15 days time frame. So <clears throat> these four cases are just aberration. By and large, we have figured how to ensure that all the internal processes are followed and approvals are still given without, uh, without any dilution, with all the rigors that is required within this 15 days time period. We also <clears throat> ensure that uh, the manufacturers who set up their facilities in the state are given the best uh, of infrastructure, the, a very attractive package of, of incentives, and we have a flexibility in our industrial policy which gives us the choice that if there is a very important investment which we are very keen to bring to our state, we can meet or beat the best offer they have anywhere else in the country or anywhere else in the world. So we don't do any discussions. If you tell us that in, uh, let us say, in uh, Korea I get these benefits or in Gujarat I get that benefits, we just close our eyes and say that either we match it or we improve upon it. No further discussions are held. And uh, obviously everything is done very transparently, very ethically. So uh, for the manufacturers, for uh, EVs and components, we plan to set up a dedicated uh, cluster which will be fairly large and quite close to Hyderabad. So the opportunity for your talk ex top executives on your people to live in a very livable city, commun com commute easily and do uh, well in your manufacturing activities, that will be there. We are also aware that one of the biggest uh, uh, piece of the EV game is uh, storage. And uh, in the EV policy that we are bringing out, there'll be additional benefits, additional incentives for people who produce, who manufacture uh, storage uh, facilities, batteries that is, in, in the state, who also do r and in, in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the batteries uh, space in the state. Because we, we, we all, I'm sure, know that, uh, and Mr. Kirloskar also alluded to that, that charging, uh, the, the batteries will be the key on how fast 
is the uptake of EVs in our country. And if we are able to bring the cost down to, let us say, as low as $100 per uh, kWh, then the affordability and uh, the, uh, the ability to get large number of users towards EV, that will become very, very easier. So to facilitate companies to do that, we'll be, mentioned, we'll be articulating a very strong battery support program in our, uh, in our EV policy. And uh, <clears throat> we also uh, know that uh, uh, many of you would be aware that Telangana off late, particularly Hyderabad, has become the innovation hub of this country. Entrepreneur, it is, it is a buzz, it's, it's the real hotspot today for all the entrepreneurial activity, startup activity. Many of you would be aware. Many of you might have been even present when we hosted the Global Entrepreneurship Summit last month. And the reason why Hyderabad was chosen over eight other cities in the country, not because we serve good biryani and all, but because we have a very strong uh, startup culture, which is, which is uh, really uh, uh, the talk of the country today. So uh, we also, in our EV policy, creating a EV uh, innovation ecosystem, we have the country's largest incubator called uh, the T Hub in Hyderabad today, which has a focus on uh, clean technologies. And uh, we are uh, expanding that to cover uh, EVs uh, as well. I realize that my time is up. So uh, <clears throat> I won't really take uh, much time. All, all I wanted to share with you was that uh, while, while we, are, we are all in India, but the action is really happening in the states. And uh, the, what I would really urge you is to identify which are the progressive states where your interests can be aligned, pick and choose. And if you feel that uh, doing business in Telangana will be something which will be a very strong value proposition to you, we'll be very happy to make that happen. And uh, good luck for the rest of the conference. Thank you very much.